Dear YouTube followers, welcome to one of my highlights of this entire year. I'm very euphoric because one of my favorite species just hatched from its cocoon. It's the Asian species of tiger moth called Arias galactina and I've been wanting to see this species since I was a 16 year old teenager when I found a picture of it online. And I would never have hoped to breed it myself in captivity here in the Netherlands. And wow, look at this color. This is why I'm very happy to have all of you as my followers. Because it wouldn't be nearly as exciting without all of you to share these moments with. And I'm grateful for that. But look at this beauty, wow. It's, it's really an incredible moth species. And now you can see some of its other colors as well. As you may have briefly seen, its body, its abdomen is bright red and its hind wings are yellow uh, and oranges. And the reason for that is because um, basically it's a warning coloration. It's supposed to scare away predators that are thinking of eating the moth. And I think uh, these are potentially toxic when they may sequester toxins from the plants that they feed on. So it's not very, uh, it's a little bit reluctant to show its hind wings because it's supposed to be like a flash coloration that it can reveal by uh, exposing its hind wings and abdomen that are usually hidden below, below its uh, forewings. Sorry if my hands are a little bit dirty. They, they have secreted a little bit of meconium if you know what that is. Either way, uh, it's really an incredible species. And the caterpillars have been very easy to raise. Maybe you remember them on my YouTube channel uh, as I have raised them last year. And the caterpillars are surprisingly easy to raise, but the most difficult uh, life stage of this insect are actually the pupae. Because the cocoons, they take one year, year to hatch and must be stored cold for uh, many months. And they will hatch in spring when you put them warm and keep them very, very humid. Uh, the pupa of this moth are very sensitive to desiccation, which means they will dry out in no time if you keep them at room temperature. So you have to bury them in vermiculite or uh, humid moss and just keep them spraying them every day. Keep them soaked, completely soaked, because on the, in room conditions these guys will desiccate and dry out and die in no time. What an incredible moth. I'm so, so excited. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned because I have a lot more incredible species coming up on my channel this year. Technically my video has already ended. I've already told you everything I know about this species and showed it to you. But here I'm just gently handling it to show you the colors on its side and its hind wings. For those who are interested in seeing them. Here you can see the wrap abdomen. Wow, it's really beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. So this was Arias Galactina. Thanks for watching. And this year, we're gonna breed a lot more incredible species like this.